Yeah, I see the title, man. Let's get to it. Leonard gives him a shelf, a shelf right there, kind of throws a little elbow at him, and Jokic didn't like it much, and got in there, Collins. A few moments later. So the Nuggets with the ball, and there goes Jokic to the hole, and he'll score. In this fourth quarter, yeah, the series tied two, 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 three. Oh, all right, man, it's a good series right there. All right, it's tied 2-2. Two, two. Who was out for this series? This was last year? Jokic. Just bowling rebounds, ties a Nuggets NBA playoff record. <laughs> 94, May 7. What a like, that's soft shit though. Like, come on, refs. You got, you gotta let them, you gotta let them rock out. Like, you can't call rebounds, this. Ties like, a this. Nuggets NBA playoff record. 94. Come on, that's so boy. That's being disrespected by Myers Leonard. Jokic popped off and showed that he's the wrong guy to mess with after dropping 25 and 19 on the entire Blazers team simply for pissing him off. See, here's the thing while the Joker is pretty much Mr. Nice Guy most of the time, he can quickly turn into a monster if you make him angry. And trust me, guys, unleashing angry Jokic is the last thing you want to do. I mean, take a look at what Rudy Gobert did right here. Case. <laughs> and, you know, he, he, I, I kind of agree with it. Gobert mocks Jokic after he gets the foul call in this clip. Yeah. Now, obviously, that didn't sit well with the Joker. And so, he yeah, returned yeah, the favor. Yeah, this, sell it with the little, little nuts. Uh, you definitely got to do things like that, bro. You have to. You got to, you know what I'm saying? But it's not over the top. That's one thing I like. It's not over the top. You're not stopping, you know what I'm saying, what you're doing. You got to keep going. If they call it, they call it. But I'm gonna I'm a sell it, act like you just hit me a little extra hard. <laughs> Word. Ah. I'm still dribbling though. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. You over here. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. I'll see him out like, the he was still going. That he was held scoreless in a first half. Because he was showed you going to break. And it's just rainbows, boy. Being me. That shit. Point be deficit. Touching his fucking. Trying to put this game away. Jokic. When the game ended, the Joker had a double-double of 28 points and 10 rebounds to carry the Nuggets to a 106-100 to win, all because Gobert was trying to be funny. And after beating them in the playoffs that year, Jokic seemed to be far from done with the stifle tower as he continued to put a huge target on his back every time they met on the court in the following season. Two-time defensive player of the year. Inside Jokic, little pivot, put it up shot, but boy, what a great result. Clarkson having a terrific it's season as all. Jokic spins. In their very first head-to-head -head matchup in the 2020-21 season, Jokic destroyed Gobert and the rest of the Jazz by scoring 22 points in the first quarter to end up with 47 points by the end of the game. And on top of that, he also tough. added 12 rebounds and 5 assists to rub it in Gobert's face even more. I mean, it doesn't really matter how many Defensive Player of the Year trophies Gobert had, because there's just no stopping the Joker if you piss him off that badly. Anyways, the next person that disrespected the Joker himself is none other than Russell Westbrook. See, in a matchup against the Thunder a couple years ago, the Nuggets were up big in the fourth quarter with barely any time left on the clock. But out of nowhere, things suddenly got chippy. Jokic clearly didn't like what Westbrook did to me. Damn, Jokic's picked in the lead for a little minute. This before, um, Russ went to, um, Houston, right? Definitely, right? Murray. So he jumped in and let his feelings be That's been on no, bad teams. Which is a normal thing to do when a player defends his teammate. Now, the two kept exchanging words afterward. And uh, I'm not a good lip reader, but um, I think Brody stepped over the line when he said this. Brooks start jawing. Brooks start jawing. <laughs> I said, yeah, I said, I'll fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? No, I got it. He pointed at Yoke and said, I'll fuck you up, though. Like, you? That's what he basically said. He said, he said, like, you? You know? Like, yeah, you? Yeah, you. Ah, uh, yeah, you. I'll do it to you. Here. <laughs> but based on that clip, I think we can all agree that Westbrook wasn't I'm talking about like, rainbows nah, why and he, unicorns so why he when he opened nah, you, you, After nah. that, Jokic didn't forget what Westbrook said that night. Mm. When they faced off again in their next matchup, the Joker had his payback. Yeah, Jokic's on that, too, though. I see Jokic get all that. He famous pushing the, um, that one owner. I mean, he hit nothing but net with his three-pointer, while Brody was literally in his face. And in the next quarter, just check out how he bullied Aquaman in this play. That's from your post play. <laughs> Man, we That's all know tough. that Steven Adams is arguably the strongest dude in the league. But what's crazy is that Jokic just cooked him like barbecue chicken That's on a hot a summer day move. in that play. And aside from that, he was hitting threes left and right, as if he had his three-point sliders maxed out. <laughs> when 
When the final buzzer sounded off, Jokic absolutely owned Westbrook by flirting with a triple-double consisting of 36 points, 9 rebounds, and 10 assists. And I think from that point, Westbrook <laughs> learned to zip his mouth whenever the Joker is lurking around. Anyway, here's another guy that tried to mess with the Joker, but eventually it backfired big time. When the Nuggets visited the Lakers at Staples in 2018, the game was basically over, with the Lakers leading by 9. But as the fans started to leave the arena, this happened. Randall gave Jokic a friendly nudge, as old folks would call it. But as expected, Jokic wasn't having any of it. Referee's trying to completely take control of this before anything really does happen. That was he clearly wasn't happy with Randall's behavior late in the game, and so, just like his previous victims, the Joker marked his prey and bowed revenge whenever he saw Yo, this dude. I feel like a lot of more dudes would be getting their shit punched on, too, if the NBA wasn't handing out all these big uh, suspensions. Well, at least back in the day they was, you know what I'm saying, you know, they hasn't been really too many fights. Next nowadays. time on the court, Randall eventually yeah. got traded to the Knicks in 2019. But despite that, Jokic still remembered what he did to him two seasons ago. And so, here's what happened. Peyton on his case. Jokic, Robinson. That time he went to the... Jokic had 22 and 10 in that game as he led the Nuggets to a blowout win, 114 to 89. Now, if you thought Jokic was done no, punishing Bobby. Randall, well, you're absolutely wrong. See, we all know that the Joker doesn't have hops like other athletic bigs, and we rarely see him dunk in a game. However, that was not the case when Jokic met Randall in the next game of that season because Randall unleashed the Vince Carter out of the Joker. It's Capasso. <laughs> Give it to Jokic. Big steps. Ah! Now Jokic with it. Jokic, oh, here he goes again! Like, yeah! How do you lose sight of him? Joker. After having a mini dunk fest, Jokic continued his rampage and even stole the ball away from Randall with this play right here. Well, just another steal could have been a foul, no call, but then all of a sudden you get in the fast break, you want to get my... When it's all said and done, Jokic had another solid revenge game as he anchored the Nuggets to another blowout win against the Knicks. And this time around, he had 32 points coupled together with 12 rebounds and 6 assists to let Julius Randle know that he messed with the wrong dude. Now, just like Randle, Markeith Morris is another guy who often bites off more than he can chew. And in this particular play... Nah, that's a fact. Markeith Morris will... Is his, brother, is his brother that's twin in the um, league anymore? I don't know if it was his twin that was doing it too, but yeah, the Moore's brothers, they always just be in some Playing with fire when he did this. Oh, okay, at this point, Morris must have realized that he shouldn't have done that. Because as the saying goes, if you mess with the bull, you get the horns. It took him a while to get up. It was Ooh. a little bit of a scary <laughs> moment there, especially knowing his history. Well, say, it'll be yo, that Morris I said, yo, keep it As yo keep is not the type uh, of player uh, who uh, sits back without... Shoulder. Nah, well, bro, it appears that Morris like picked that, on the wrong guy, said. as Jokic is not the type of player who sits back without keeping the receipt. Things went wild after that, and as if one enemy wasn't enough. Jimmy Butler also joined the party by lighting the fire even more, saying... Oh, there is bad blood. Bro. Crazy enough, Butler actually brought his crew to the back, as shown in the picture right here, as they waited for the Nuggets players to step out of their locker room. Oh, are they was going out? <laughs> nah, my son, he looked at him, look at Jimmy like, hey, when are these niggas coming out, man? Like, what's going on? <laughs> nah, that got him. My son, yo, was, was with all the smoke, though, as you can see. You know what I'm saying, boys, see what I'm saying, did that little cheap shit. My son, yo, has got him like, nah, he's like, I can't snuff him up. <clears throat> Give him a football truck real fast, that's it. Karu. Meanwhile, Jokic's brothers also <laughs> got involved in the crossfire by engaging in a Twitter war with Markeith's twin brother Marcus. Uh, anyway, while oh, there were okay. a lot of things going on in the background, Jokic set his sights on the court for revenge. The next time he came down to Miami, and although nothing really happened in that game, Jokic got his payback by leading his team to a big W. Jokic going to take his first three of the night. Down he goes! Okay. There's a lot pass! Once again, he almost had another triple-double with 24, 15, and 7. And this just proves that Jokic will definitely strike back if you piss him off badly like Morris did. Anyway, guys, well, Gary Bate in a second that. also tried to mess with the Joker during last year's playoffs, which all began with this play. After going for an offensive rebound, GP2 timed Jokic perfectly and swatted away his shot before giving mm. that I got you stare at Jokic for good measure. <laughs> now, moments after that, the Nuggets called a timeout <laughs> to settle things up, but when both teams were already heading back to their respective benches, GP2 triggered the whole thing by doing this. Playoffs bring it out of you. GP2 had that block. 
To me, that was just an acknowledgement tap from GP2. However, it was obvious nah, that Jokic fact. viewed it differently. After the incident, nah, the Joker you, you seemed to be like, mad at GP2, you, and from then on, he just let his anger out by wrecking and bullying anyone who stood in his mm. path. Jokic with a mismatch on Wiggins. Man. And despite how good of a defender he is, Draymond can't do anything to stop an angry Joker. Play. Joker on the block against Green. Great pivot Ooh. move. Best season of his career in terms of three. Go back. That was beautiful. Green. Great pivot move. Best season of his career in terms of three-point accuracy. Jokic looking at oh work God. with his feet. Oh, Before spin. the slapping incident, Jokic was just averaging below 26 a ball game. But check out his number after game three. Although they didn't win the series, Jokic was in beast mode in the next three games. And what's scary and funny at the same time was that it all started from a seemingly harmless butt slap coming from GP2. Anyway, guys, <laughs> speaking of being scary and funny, Jokic suddenly reminds me of Dwight Howard. You know, a big fellow who loves to joke around off the court and has temper issues when pushed to the limit. So, anyways, when these two collided in the Lakers-Denver matchup inside the bubble, I expected things to get heated quickly between them because of their similar personalities and in Game 3, the two eventually crossed paths and got tangled up with one another, literally. After scrambling for a loose ball, Dwight shoved Jokic, and then Dwight began chirping at the Joker to get into his head. Went heavy on JaVale McGee. We'll see if Dwight Howard, who has been the... Well, as it turned out, Dwight played ah. well against Jokic in that series, and the Lakers eventually eliminated the Nuggets in five games. Though the Lakers owned the Nuggets in that series, Jokic would have the last laugh by making a fool out of Dwight in the following season with this nasty play. Now Jokic trying to get the third foul on Howard. He's got it. Man. Jokic just forced Dwight to wear his dancing That's shoes sweet. right there. Anyway, guys, <laughs> who do you think disrespected Nikola Jokic Yo. the most? Let us know in the comments below. You yeah, are definitely dead force of the way it did his shoes. <laughs> nah, but that's the end of this one, y'all. Jokic, Jokic be there for the smoke. Eddie, Eddie, he not gonna back that. You start talking, he gonna, he gonna go at y'all. Definitely gonna go at y'all. If y'all enjoyed, though, make sure you click on the last reaction. Share the video with your people on social media platforms. Click on the subscribe button and then the post notification bell. Make sure you click all notifications so you get a notification when I drop a new reaction. I'm out of here, man.